another episode of Trailmakers World Direct Attempts 2019. If you are new to the channel, you might want to stick around. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today we're building a... Let's see, I'm not sure what seat to start with here. Uh, we're doing a... Ooh, let's do a motorcycle hydrofoil. Wait, but you can't... <laughs> The propulsion would be off center. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. We're doing a regular hydrofoil. <laughs> Quick decisions. Disables tilting. No, I think tilting is important. Let's just start with the go kart seat. I want to keep this like super light, super aerodynamic. We're gonna go really go for it today. Um. All right. Get to it. Straight to the build. I think the uh, length is kind of important here to give us more stability. Let's try that. I'm gonna do this too. I think just by default, the hydrofoil kind of got to be a little bigger than you'd expect. Just to give us room to like move around and um, oh, and this one's not going to be bionic. We're going to actually use one power core here. We could add more once we get it kind of good as well, but I think one is a good start here. Yep, I need a bunch of these. <laughs> the most spread out we can get here I'm kind of thinking this is going to be pretty straightforward here at least I don't know we'll see oh it looks new I wonder how long that's been like that probably like a long time no this is definitely new yeah we could totally add more after a certain Actually, let's put a wing um, on top of it before we... <clears throat> that should work. Just want to see if this works. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. Okay. I was thinking of adding steering on the front, but we'll see how much I can turn just by just by leaning. Um, it might be possible. Oh, it's not going to float on its own. Okay. Awesome so far. Oh, look at that. This is nice. Wait, what? <laughs> um. That's a glitch, that's not supposed to happen. What? Well, and it's got too much power. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. 
trying to think if I can just reverse the whole thing. <laughs> what? What's the issue here? Oh, it's not connected. Cool. And then... Come on. I don't understand why this is so difficult. <coughs> City over here. Get on there. What is the issue? Okay. Sure. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh no, I'm sinking. I need to put back some of these. Yeah, I want to try and keep it as light as possible, so I'm not trying to do... Just weigh it down. Actually, this could work here. It's not even hydroplaning? <laughs> how's, how's my bionic craft faster than my... What? I'm lost. How does that happen? <laughs> first one just flips over immediately and the second one can't even get out of the water. Maybe there was just something wrong with the, like, I don't get it. <laughs> and maybe I can do a, uh, I shouldn't change two things at once, but. How do you go from too much lift to no lift at all that quickly.
So let's replace that with <laughs> just one of these, I guess, right? Or two of those. Cool, I can still turn by, oops. Turn by leaning, that's good. Saves me parts and weight. This is actually not bad. All right, we're doing okay. We're not even like using the water for the front part. <laughs> I think that's why leaning works, because we're just using drag to steer. This is not bad, all right, I can dig it. 75. That's pretty good. It's not as good as a literal alien. Dude, that guy's got to make some videos so I can tell what, what he's what he's doing. I'm going to try and reduce drag once I... Once I get a baseline time here. This isn't bad, this is pretty stable. Didn't even have to add any steering. I can dig it. still faster. Maybe the trick is just adding a adding one of these to a bionic grab so you just add like I don't know 50 miles an hour to whatever the top speed of the other thing was. I really, so I think I need to go back to the drawing board on my bionic stuff. Um, like start off with I think maybe, maybe even use this. I wanted to kind of experiment with hydrofoils to see how fast I needed to go to get them to because then maybe I could just put the propulsion like a single, well, okay, so dual counter-rotating, but just a single one of those on top of this platform might work. Um, so I kind of wanted to build a stable platform first and then attach propulsion later. Because I could definitely just stick one of those props like right underneath here. Um, or lower the, well, no, lowering the whole thing wouldn't really, yeah, I could lower the whole thing. Drifting around here. This isn't too bad though. Glad we finally found that happy medium. Just Hello, mittens. Mittens a race. And now I've got our baseline speed of 75, so we can work on it from there. Just adding some arrow should help. It's a balance between speed and, or no, um, aerodynamics and weight after this point. Yeah, we definitely need, uh, like a fin of some sort. Probably up in the air, though, because that would create more, well, no, we have fins. These, these three vertical things are fins. This is 
is cool. I love how the front wing's just out of the water. It's not even <laughs> just the engine in the front is underwater. That's cool. Hopefully my arrow doesn't like push us underwater. That would be that would be bad. Oh, I'm gonna cut it here and then cut the corner. Yep. Starting to get to know this course. <clears throat> That's pretty consistent. Oh. <laughs> but slower than our Wow! Tenth. I guess that's not too bad. Oh, we can definitely. Oh, insanity compromise. I think I've seen them on the uh, Discord. Okay. Which you should join, by the way, if you haven't already. The trailer, trail makers Discord is pretty cool. Trailer makers. <laughs> All right, let's do a cross section. Yep, just as I thought. I don't even think we need that. We only need this for like the first couple of seconds here even. So if I can just. Nice. And I think I can just do these for here. This is getting not usable. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's actually probably really good now. Yeah. Oh, that's it for these. Oh, okay. I guess I can't just do this. Are we really still the same speed? Oh, a little faster, okay. It's definitely just gonna be the same time. Wait, how do we go faster around a turn? Okay, maybe we can make our back um, lift up too, because if we just if we duplicate the front here, it's just f uh, four on each, or uh, two on each. And if we can get the exact same amount of lift as the front, maybe we can stick out of the water just slightly more and get that little bit more speed here. And maybe I'll shorten it down. Yeah, I should shorten it down. It's less weight. But hopefully, still the same stability. <laughs> this better not mess it all up.
Really? Interesting. 10 miles per hour slower? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well let's... Okay, I just add one more. I just kinda wanna lift that back end up slightly. Or maybe I just put one of those underneath with the other design. Huh. That's crazy that I had such a good design right off the bat then. <laughs> Trash. Right? No. Wait, was I 10 miles per hour slower with the arrow added? How is that even possible? Here, let me... Just add a little bit of arrow. Oh, that's still the same arrow for this, I guess. Oh, I wonder if it um may gave us more drag. No, that wouldn't make sense. Maybe more front heavy. I don't know. That's crazy. Let's do this on the front here. That look cool. And probably help. Okay, it basically sinks. I like it. <laughs> One mile per hour faster. That's insane. Okay, let me let me try the other arrow that I wanted to try. Actually, oh, that would be perfect. Okay, okay. Um, three by four, very aerodynamic. Ooh. But see, the cool plan is to do this like this, so it gives us just slightly, slightly more lift. At least it should. Wait, is this one? Yeah. Let's see what that does. That might actually work really well. <laughs> Bad start. Those starts are super important though. Yeah, see, look, that was an awful start, but I just want to see my top speed. Faster. Oh, I go faster on the turns. I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> Can I hop off this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that didn't help. That was bad. Okay. Um. Now, maybe I can add another. Two by two. Well, extremely is better than. <laughs> oh my god. I love the wording of this. Extremely aerodynamic. Very aerodynamic. We're gonna go extreme. And then I think I want to add a different amount of extremeness here as well. Because I'm pretty sure that this plus just one of those regular blocks is actually, can I? Ooh, let's do that. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I'd mirror it. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> now, hold on, does that cover me? Yes. Okay, let's go. Here. Extremely, extreme only at this point. Hopefully, that gives us a little more. This is looking super cool now. <laughs> okay, and then I can only do moderately. I think. Unless there's a no. Well, I could here. This is what I'll do. In the sake of aerodynamics, stability can't hurt either. Uh, I'm gonna do just that. So whatever, but. Then I can just duplicate these and give it perfect arrow for the entire body of the craft here. Whoops. <laughs> Look at that thing. We need to paint it. I think maybe red and black. Oh, that's black and red. There we go. Not black or red and Red and orange, okay. Yeah. Get out of the water. It's so heavy now. Okay, 77. Woo! Lost it a little bit there. But we go faster when we turn, somehow. Maybe because more wing comes out of the water. Who knows? Okay, we're slightly faster. There we go. speed but okay I'm just gonna start over because that was a little much to get us up to speed here um, I can't reverse can I no let's not do that get out of there come on I'm trying to lean back there we go just want to catch myself real quick here and pass myself here hopefully come on come on I gotta beat my time at least
let's I think I need I think I do need this up farther but like I think this should actually go this way so that it helps with the lift in the starting initial section here Whoa, that was weird. Um, and then I think I really like those extreme. Actually, this extreme one I can still use. That's fine. Perfect. This needs to be up farther because I can't sink like that. So let's go here. And then can I just do... that and then <laughs> this might look unconventional but it should work okay <laughs> uh, hmm. I wish I had just slightly more lift let's see if I can just shove one of these towards the back here see what it does you know Maybe that'll give us the, the difference here. Whoa! I just hopped out. Oh, except I didn't press W. Okay, all right. We're going. I think I might need to put the engine down farther. Because then I can come up out of the water slightly faster. Well, maybe not. Somehow we're slower than the last one. Our start was way better, but... Huh. Yeah, let me try and mount that motor down one, because if I can, like, hop out of the water slightly more, that would be amazing. Oh, no. I'm just going to lose it right there. Okay. I like how that's not aerodynamic. That's interesting, actually. Maybe I need to put a slightly aerodynamic. <laughs> no, extreme only, extremely aerodynamic. I don't, I don't mess around. So now it's basically a plane, <laughs> a plane with a with a boat engine on the bottom. <laughs> Come on, yes. Can't turn though. Cannot turn at all. Okay, so I think we need <laughs> I think this is working better. Uh, oh no, let's come on. Don't do that to me. I'm thinking we just make this whole thing turn. Oh. And 
and then we can just put I have to use some more of those extreme blocks probably oh yeah I probably can't put it any closer than that should be fine, right? We just... <laughs> That's not good. That's way too much. That's fine. Okay. We are totally flying. We are not touching the... Oh my god. We were like not touching the water at all. This is amazing. <laughs> we're not going like faster necessarily though. Huh. Like, those aren't even in the water. That's insane how it's, like, just the... Ooh. <laughs> Dead. Hmm. I'm trying to think how we can... Maybe slightly less lift on the front? Let's actually, oh, let's do that. Let's add more lift to the center for us a minute here. Actually, you know what? So let's save this just so I have a copy of that too. Um, but I'm kind of thinking we could just get rid of this whole thing here. And maybe just shove a shove a seat on here, and then Is that no? Okay. And then maybe a pontoon on the back. <laughs> so I want to make this way lighter, like, because I think we fine tuned a little too far.
Um, let's call them on the phone. Oh, and I need to move this forward. So I can put a couple pontoons in here. Is that enough? No. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I wanted either. Um. This might not work at like at all. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Let's do uh, the other direction. A little too much lift. We're just doing wheelies here, but we might we might do okay. Yeah, this might do all right here. No, we gotta move the engine back. Um. too heavy. Somehow worse. <laughs> At least it floats. Um, maybe we just don't. Oh, here, let's move this over. And if we can put it back one, sure, why not? Maybe the weight of the craft will kind of. No. Hmm. 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 I almost feel like we <laughs> we had we had as good as we're gonna get. I mean, we are tenth. So it's nothing to, but you know what, if we just take, was this what we were doing last time? Is that really what, what craft we had? Oh boy. So if I just throw an engine on here. <laughs> Maybe the hydrofoil was what we couldn't get to work. I don't even remember what our craft looked like. I think it was... No, this one was one I wanted to try, I think. But it wasn't a good idea. It wasn't a good design. 
hey, you know what? Let's build the one that they suggest and modify that. <laughs> oh, let's have it auto built. What goes into this? Wait, where's the, oh, there's two. Muscle League, two to five. Let's just get rid of one. Easy, right? No, this is super slow. Let's hide your foilet. Uh, well, it's super big too, but. Why is oh it's connected okay like one and then we take another one of those put it back here this is awful. Yeah, we may have just built the best craft right off the bat. It's crazy how that happens. Maybe I just kind of know what I'm doing almost. Let's see. So let's not forget to save the... Wait, what? Recent craft. Did I really not save the one I painted that was like perfect? I guess it was just this without the turning. Let's just turn this down. How do those guys do it? Well, those aren't hydrofoils, I don't think. That one guy might be above the water. Huh. <laughs> huh, that's crazy. We got our, we got it to like 78 on the other one. And this one's, huh. Yeah, I guess the weight versus the arrow, right? So let's actually... I think what we should do here... I'm gonna just get rid of this... section of arrow. Oh, I forgot about these. I don't think I need those. Or these. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking we can go do it. The canal race. Oops, wrong buttons. Come back. Okay. I think canal is over this way, so we should be able to. Because I don't think we've done many of those water races. Maybe I did a boat that was a single core.
Gotta be around here somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Wait, was this one the hovercraft? This is a hovercraft, and I can't do it. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, I think we did pretty well. I think we're like 10th. That's not bad. I'll definitely have to come back and try again at a later date. But uh, until then, this has been the Kilograms, another episode of Trailmakers World Record Attempts 2019. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out thekilograms.com for more of everything. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.